Okay, we're here with IC Sports. I'm joined by today by Bob Burnquist, uh, one of the great legends, legends really, and is still a leader in the uh, skateboard industry. Hey, Bob, thank you. You're very welcome. Now, um, a couple things. Now, I first learned about Bob really when I saw your uh, X Games 3D video, yep. which was just phenomenal. It was, it was in the uh, theaters for a couple weeks. Yep. And uh, this was the first time, guys, if you haven't seen this, um, we're, what is it? Is it the mega ramp? Is that what that thing's called? Yeah, we had the mega ramp. Yes, yep. yep. In my backyard, we were able to put some 3D cameras there at the mega and the uh, other parts of the backyard. Uh, but the mega ramp was really cool. I mean, it was just a lot of work setting up that big camera and, and trying to get people the perspective of like being in there. You know, you, you felt when, when you're watching the movie. Honest to God, I felt like I was on top of that thing, looking straight yeah. down. It was yeah. crazy. Now. This really brought uh, the X Games a lot of people hadn't seen before, I think. Because it was 3D and everything. Yeah. 3D. Now you're doing, are you just finishing the video now? Yeah. What, what, what's it, what is it called? Well, the 3D video is, you know, the, the X Games 3D is really like trying to, you know, get in depth on the competition and go behind the scenes and get the story, you know, until you, you actually go out there and compete. Right. The video that I just got done is the flip video, and it's uh, called Extremely Sorry. It's a, it's a third in the series that they've had over the years. and. Uh, you know, it's basically how skateboarding shows its progression at, at different times, you know, of, uh, of, uh, of, of phases of skateboarding. So we're out there for the last three years. A lot of the other guys did the same thing. So we culminated into this progressive technical skateboarding video that just came out about a month ago. So yeah, you're, you're telling me that you guys did the soundtrack for the movie? The soundtrack, the, yeah, the, you know, all original soundtrack by Marin and a lot of the guys. And, uh, uh, you know, some, some, some really amazing people put stuff down. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really cool. So, I think that as it shows around and you get the perspective of the 3D and with, you know, and then this whole, whole other side, it's like which full is, circle, which right? Which is, you know, straight technical skateboarding. That's where, right. you know, every, the, the biggest buzz in the skating world is when these videos come out. You know, and that's what most of us, you know. Uh, now, now, right now, people could get the video if they want to. You guys right can pick now, up. Yeah, right now you can pick up the video at skate shops. You know, go go to the skate shop. I don't app. know if any other sport out there. Uh, where, where people are really in the middle of eminent doom the minute they begin their, their run. I mean, you know, like this little kid over Yeah, he just slammed <laughs> as you're talking. Yeah. Well, I didn't mean to say that to the kid. Uh, but, yeah. no, it just happened. Yeah, but so um. Well, where does an athlete like you, where does your mind go? Because it's got to be like a huge percentage. Obviously, you're technically perfect and you've been straight for so long, but where does your mind go to allow yourself to step outside of the fear and be in the game? You know, it's, it, you just love to skate, you know, and you want to skate as much as you know, possible. And slamming is a part of skateboarding since I started. Right. So it's not like it's anything new, so it's not like I got to go, okay, now I, I might fall. Well, I mean, if you go out there like that, you know. Right. I just know I'm gonna fall, you know, and at some point, it's, you know, you just go. You're like, um, you're like, I'm gonna fall, it's gonna no, it's suck. Not, yeah, no, but. I, you know, I've been trying to get away with as many as I can and try to be right. smart, you know, but like, you know, at times, especially a competition, like, you know, we want to make sure everything happens. So yeah. you put stuff, that's when really slams happen, you can get hurt, because you're, you're going for things that in your mind, you kind of know it's gone and you, you shouldn't try to make it. Or well, you try it anyways, and sometimes it works. You know, and, but it, when it doesn't, it hurts. Yeah. How close do you get to the save usually? I mean, are you actually last second? I'm gonna bail, or I'm gonna stay with them? You, you learn to, you learn to fall, and you, you know when you take off, depending on what you're skating, like you're skating the vert. You know when you take off if your body's off, or if you're gonna hang up, or or you're way too far out, or the axis is off. That if you try to make it, you're just gonna slam. You yeah. just know it when you take off. So you just kind of throw it away. So and sometimes I go, and then you get you, you get startled, and all of a sudden you're on the ground. Awesome. But you know, you just go and you skate, and that's you know that's what I love to do. But do you, you have no fear of heights. I mean, like like the, the oh, I have fear. I have a lot of fear. I mean, it's respect. You know, I know what I know what it feels like to fall, depending on how high you know I'm yeah. going. So I'm not gonna just take it as like, oh yeah, no problem, I can do that. No, I mean, you gotta be afraid so that you keep yourself in that check limit right. zone, you know, and then you cross it as as you go. But, you, know, you got to be afraid. Now we uh, we're standing in front of this ramp over here. Would you, you actually compete on this ramp right here, right? Yeah, yesterday. And uh, you got like the future of skateboarding. These guys. Do you remember when you started doing that kind of stuff? No, the tricks were different. You know, um, but I, I mean, he's he's going through the basics here. He's doing a, he's did an indie gay twist. Uh huh. Uh, you know, backside air. So he's just kind of like you know trying to kick there. So it's it's pretty basic stuff, but. A lot of the kids are already trying kick flip indies. They're flipping their board. Yeah. You know that when I when I was their age, kick flip indies 
wasn't around. Didn't they exist. weren't around. So, wow. you know, as like, you know, I probably got into like 13, 14, and so, you know, when Danny Way started doing it, yeah. you know, he's pretty yeah. the one who brought that up. But Danny's another guy, he's just always been the in the progressive side, and he's always shown us that progressive skateboarding through videos. So that's, you know, that's how you, you really carrying the torch in the videos, obviously, with your new videos coming up. But you have a, you have a great sponsorship to this, uh, Toyota. Yeah. And uh, just really quick, tell us about this Prius that's out there. Um, it's not like a normal Prius. It's, it's kind of it's kind of badass. Yeah, well, yeah it is, man. <laughs> and they, they, they've been working on it for years, you know. And the new generation is really cool. There's lots of different features. I mean, the one here we got the we got the graphic rad. We make it look really cool. And yeah. It's super tech, which is which is rad. You know, you can just walk in and you can be talking on the phone. I mean, I, I'm like, you know, I, I like being tech. And, and also saving a lot of fuel, you know. Yeah, it's good for the environment, dude. Yeah, all yeah. around, you know. Yeah. I mean, and, and there's some pretty interesting, like, kind of, you know, they have this park assist that's just kind of trippy, man. You press a button and it parks. No. Yeah. The Prius does that. Yeah, you can, oh, you can come totally on. figure it out totally. I mean, I, I thought it was like, you know, but it, 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 it so does you, it. Do you just want to line up the champagne glasses? And, and no, you, 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 no, what you want to do is you want to constantly test it, you know, because you're like, okay, I mean, you can't come be on. that good. You know? Yeah. There's, but, like, you know, there's like a Lamborghini and a Rolls Royce yeah. there. You're not going to hit the button. Yeah. You, know, you know, it's just not worth it. So there's a lot of cool stuff like that, you know, and then you got eco modes and, you know, and different, like, just going electric at, up, up to a certain uh, mileage. You know, I, I was talking to uh, uh, Greg Lutzka yesterday. Uh, so I know it was, it was, it was Greg. Uh, I know, Jamie Desmond. Yeah, and he was telling me that the car is actually more aerodynamic than Lamborghini. Yeah, isn't that funny? <laughs> it's a trip, dude. Come on. Yeah. And, and it's good for the environment. So yeah. yeah, Lamborghini studying the Prius. Figured Unbelievable. Out. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bob Bird Quest. Uh, Bob, thank you so much for joining us. Steve Sam with IC Sports. Thanks.